Hello chat boys out there, today in this vlog I'm going to be telling you guys all about what I got to on my first in Friday of this week. I hope you guys are all having a lovely end to your week and you've all had a great week. On my first day, I got up, showered and changed, had some toast and a cup for my breakfast, listened to a bit of music, watched a bit of TV. My mum and dad got up and we just watched a bit of TV and my dad, older brother, sister and younger brother, sister all had work. I didn't have work on Thursday, I didn't work on Thursdays. So I got a nice line, which is great. My dad then after work had gone off fishing and me and my mum were watching a bit of TV, listening to a bit of music. I then was just doing some drawing and colouring on the colouring up on my phone, which is super therapeutic, love that. Then I was watching some vlogs and TikToks, posted some TikToks. Then I was working on some illustrations, played with my mum Beach at Doll, watched a bit of Netflix and some stuff off record I to finish watching. Then I got myself ready to go off on a nice big walk as the sunshine was out and went off on a nice big walk, got some nice flash stats and I'm going to show you guys those now. I then went off to my workplace to get a toasted tea cake and a fresh OJ and I'm going to show you guys that now. Can't stay away from the place, absolutely love the toasted tea cakes and the fresh OJs are so good. Then. On my way back, I looked around the charge shops, went into a flower shop and I got some flower stats that I want to show you guys now. I then made me back home and on the way home I got some flower snacks that I'm going to show you guys now as well. absolutely love flower photography and all the lovely colours and all the lovely autumn leaves, the oranges and yellows. It's just so beautiful. I got back home, my mum and myself were there watching a bit of murder she wrote. I had some jam sandwiches and a cup of tea and watched Escape to Country and Garden Rescue. Then I watched the Aussie Soaps, wrote a bit of my journal for the day, put that away, worked on some illustrations and went a bit of to all the boys I've loved before, the book I'm currently reading, which is such a great read. 
absolutely love the ferns and now I'm getting my way through the books as well. Had a cup of tea with biscuits. My old brother's but for being at work, he then went off to, to, to rugby training for the seniors and my younger brother was on his Xbox after being back from work and his girlfriend was over to stay the night and I then got myself ready for touch rugby and for that I had my tea and my chicken curry which is so good and I'm going to show you guys a photo of that chicken curry now. Then I got myself ready, got my boots on, got my drink and my old sister picked me up and went off to touch rugby and it was normally on the charity pitch which was like a field, public field, but we went up to a secondary school's pastry turf to use that on Thursday nights which has floodlights which meant we can play for longer as before the field we used to play on didn't have I like so we had to play during it was during the time it was light and when it got dark we'd have to stop playing so now we could play for longer. So yeah, it was a really good game. Not a big fan of Astro. My arms and knees are very sore from sliding around on the Astro and like falling over. I'm such a klutz and yeah it was really fun. I never lasted so much in my life and I scored a try. Last week I was this close to scoring a try. This week I was like, there is no way that I'm not scoring a try and I did it. I was so happy, so proud of myself and all the teammates were cheering, high five for me. It was so great and one of my teammates, bless him, was determined to get me a try, passed me the ball. So I gave her a double high five, I was like, thank you so much because he was the one that like, kept helping me try and get that try. And yeah, I defended well as well. I was playing against my older sister, so that was always a lot of fun. But scoring a try, I literally ran and actually dived onto the ground and hit the ball onto the try line and yeah it was, it was so much fun then on the way back we had to pop into tesco's and she had to go to the garage to get some petrol and i was singing a song and i didn't even realize i was singing it and like dancing making the car shakes so my older sister when she came back from getting a petrol sang a bit of the song and she was i was like what i was like you were singing that song and i didn't even realize i was singing it i was that tired Delirious. Got back, had some cereal, got a shower and chased up my PJs, watched the UK soaps, and then watched We Push Dog Race UK. I love that show. And it was Girl Band Week, which is always one of my favourite weeks. And Emma Bunton, aka Baby Spice from Spice Girls, was on the panel. What a legend. Love a bit of Emma Bunton. And they had a double save. No one went out last week on Thursday. It was amazing. I was like, oh my god. Can't not believe that that they were both saved in the lip sync and nobody went out. Yeah, it was such a great episode. Then I watched the new track "Easy on Me" by Adele, the one and only Adele. What an icon! I love her. It is such a great song, and she looks amazing. Nobody does the winged eyeliner look like she does. That winged eyeliner is perfection. Love her. Love that song, and I cannot wait for the album 30 to be out soon. I think it's out November 19th or something, sometime in November, but yeah, very excited to get that album. I then went off to bed, very happy with hearing that song, love it, I just love Adele. I then got up on my Friday, which is today, I got myself ready for work, I got shower and changed, had some breakfast, and my mum, was up getting ready to go off for a diabetic eye test check and uh, my dad was going to be getting back from work and taking over for that. Older brother and sister were at work, younger sister too. Younger brother had the day off and he had a bit of a migraine so wasn't feeling that great and his girlfriend was going off to work and she kindly dropped me to work. Got to work, got clocked in, was serving food and drinks, did a few food and drink orders but mainly just stuck to one food and drinks and then it picked up about 12-ish and the lunch rush went on to 12 till 1 and then the food and drink tickets weren't flying properly so it was a bit of a nightmare and then one of my colleagues snapped to me because I was told by them when it's busy to only want food and drinks and not do any food or drink orders because it makes it harder for the people making the drinks and stuff 
So I was like, okay. And then this chap was like, oh, can I have another one of these drinks? And I said, oh, yeah, my colleague would do that. She's doing all the orders. But she was. And then she stepped to me and said that I could put that in. And apparently I could I could do drink orders, but not food orders. So after that, I did do drink orders, just not any food orders. But I was just like, she could have let me know. And then she's like, I can't do everything. I was like, I never said you could. But yeah, I suppose we all very stressed out. I stuck my big toe, so of course I was limping a bit, which is very frustrating and it's still really hurting now. So yeah, that's great. Also, a tray of nachos. The tray slipped and got the nachos all over my worktop. And I was so happy I hadn't got anything spilt on my top or my trousers. And now I had nachos all down it. So that's going to have to go in the wash before my next shift on Sunday daytime. I normally do the evening shift and normally do the quiz and do sell the food and drinks and stuff while the quiz is going on and do most of the drink orders. But I'm working in the daytime, which means I won't be doing a quiz this week, which is a surprise. But yeah, I have Saturday off. I'm so happy about that. I finished at three. I got in for about 8.54ish, or so around like 8.50ish. Got clocked in and did like 8ish till like 10. I was supposed to start at nine, but I got there early because early worm crashes the bed and I'd rather be early than late and yeah it was a good shift and I suppose we're not going to get along with all the colleagues we work with but yeah it was it was fun it was very busy and yeah I need a good nap <laughs> I then made my way back I got clocked off got my bag and got the hell out of there made my way back and I went off to the flower shop and I got some flower snaps and I'm going to show you guys now the flower snaps that I got. I was able to get a load of flower stops from there. I wasn't actually going to go in there today as I'd been in there the other day, but I'm glad I did because I got in there and there was a load of lovely flower stops just been delivered and put out. So I was able to get a load of lovely flower stops and had a lovely chat with the shopkeeper who's just so lovely. Always have great chats with her. I then made my way down to my grandpa's house where I am now. Before that, I forgot to mention, I went off to the coffee place on the corner and got myself a white chocolate and raspberry hot chocolate they were so good absolutely loved them i am now at my grandma's house i got changed out of my work uniform put that in my bag and that's definitely gonna have to go in the wash i was so, so determined not to get anything on my work trousers or t-shirt and literally got plastered in drink food from like cleaning drink clean off glasses and plates and stuff and yeah so that's gonna have to go in the wash not working till sunday daytime now off tomorrow yes i can't wait to have a nice line tomorrow definitely need it and i normally work sunday evenings when it's the quiz and i normally do all the food and drink orders well one's on bar and one's doing the quiz master well but i'm not doing the quiz this week i'm in the daytime and get sunday evening off which is exciting and yeah get to have a Sunday race with everyone else instead of having to have it when I get back from work so that'd be quite nice and yeah I'm now off to go have my tea having pork chops veg and yeah looking forward to that and I will see you with a little bit more of the vlog later on bye I'm back from being at my grandpa's house. I had a delicious meal. I had pork chops with 
vegetables and it was just so lovely and lots of gravy i love a bit of gravy and then i had some crumble and i'm going to show you guys snaps that i got off my meal now It was so good. Eyes bigger than my belly. I then had a cup of tea and we were just watching a bit of TV, let my food go down. My mum then picked me up and we're now back home and I am now off to go and watch today's Aussie soaps, wipe my journal out for the day and then I'm going to be watching the UK soaps and then just chilling and then tomorrow on my day off I'm probably going to be going for a little walk, maybe go to the garden centre and yeah, see where the day takes me. I hope you guys have all had a lovely week. Have all had a great Friday and have a great weekend ahead. And I shall see you when you vlog coming very soon. Bye.